In this video, we will focus on the topic of import and export using a secret key in Jasper Report Server 7.5. Let's say you have two 7.5 environments, one for dev and one for test, that you have either freshly installed or upgraded. And if you were to use the pre-7.5 approach of exporting from one environment and then importing into another environment, let's say test, then the chances are that you'll see the error, the import failed due to invalid encryption key. Now this approach of exporting from one environment via the UI and importing to another no longer works uh, the same way due to the changes that we have implemented relating to cryptology. There are other approaches that you can take to avoid the error altogether and to easily export from a 7.5 environment and input into another 7.5 environment without the need to generate a secret key. Like how it used to work pre 7.5. But that approach, which basically entails copying the key store related files from one environment to another, is not actually covered in this video because then there will be too much content to cover and will make this video too long. The intent of this video is to demonstrate one quick approach to exporting and importing resources between 7.5 environments. A use case for such an approach would be if you have an issue uh, raised with JasperSoft support team and you need to provide that resource as an exported catalog, then this approach would be useful because you'll need to generate a secret key and provide that along with the catalog. Unfortunately, the way to export in 7.5 doesn't allow you to actually specify the key alias uh, via the UI. So the only approach to export a catalog and generate a secret key in version 7.5 is to use the command line. The import, however, can be imported via the command line or via the UI and specify the key value or a key file containing the key. We should see enhancements to this area in a near future release where it will be more user friendly to allow users to export via the UI. But for the release of 7.5, to overcome this problem, we can only export the resources through command line. All the importing and exporting approaches I explained in detail in JasperSoft community article titled Encryption in Jasper Report Server 7.5 Plus. The URL address to this article is provided in the references section of this video. Other references include the Jasper Report Server Security Guide, Managing Keys for Import and Export, and the Jasper Report Server Administration Guide, Import and Export through the command line. So the way to do exports and imports in version 7.5 using a secret key is to first of all run the jsexport command on the source environment. So I've gone to the source environment and I'll run a jsexport command. I'll export out a report, a map report, and I'll export it to a map report.zip. The main thing about exporting with a secret key is to have the option of gen key and that will generate a secret key at the end of the run. The key alias must be used is a deprecated import export ENC secret. This key alias is actually common or universal across all the 7.5 installations and hence that's the one that we had to specify. So I'm just going to give this a run. So now that they generated a secret key, we can copy the uh, secret key, which is a series of hex numbers. And we can also put in a key file.
Then we'll go to the target directory and we'll import in the map report.zip and enter in the secret key. So I've switched over to the target environment and I will choose the map report.zip to import. And for the secret key, I'll use the key value, which is the uh, hex numbers. And uh, the import is succeeded. Now, to use the key file, I first have to upload the key file.txe that contains the hex numbers uh, to the repository. And when I upload the file, I have to upload it as a secure file. And that succeeds as well. So that's just a quick uh, demonstration on how you can uh, do input and export in version 7.5 using a circuit key. Thank you for watching.